Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Valencia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is March 8, 2022. Now let's take a brain break. And take a big deep breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you breathe in, a sense of taking in fresh air the lungs expanding as you breathe out a sense of letting go of any stress in the body and the mind don't you love taking a relaxing brain break i know i do now let's go to word of the day I was more tardy in class today, even though I explained to Ms. Johnson that I had an unexpected hindrance. Oh, what happened? Well, it's a long story. I woke up late because the time on my clock was set to the wrong time. So, I missed my bus and I had to walk to school. It's like everything was in my way. Oh, that's a huge setback. Yep, and I had no idea I was going to be so delayed. Well, I'm pretty sure she had no choice but to mark you tardy, even though you had that huge hindrance. Yeah. See you tomorrow, tomorrow on, on Word of the Day. day. Now let's go to Aiden for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Valencia. Sports fans, tech ball is a new sport that is a cross between table tennis and football and is a little hard to imagine, so you have to see it to believe it. Back and forth, up to four players hit a football with any part of the body except arms and hands over a curved table. Curiosity draws people to stop and watch a match of tech ball at a table. But for those with a competitive spirit and any experience in soccer, the sport offers an irresistible challenge to jump in and play. Tech ball athletes are on a mission to have the sport admitted to the Olympics. And now, it is played in over 100 countries. Now let's go to Joshua for the lunch report. Thank you, Aiden. Today's lunch is charboiled hamburger, hamburger bun, corn, strawberry fruit pails, barbecue sauce, and your chest of milk. Scholars, please let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Valencia. That sounds delicious. Thank you, Joshua. The Glow Party is on March 16th. To go, you need 25 past lessons in reading and math and ready. The due date is this Friday, so make sure to get your lessons in if you want to go to this Glowtastic party. This is your last week to get your lessons in. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is another average of 81 degrees Fahrenheit with clouds blanketing the earth. In other weather news, a South Korea wildfire forces many to flee. In the mountains of the seaside town of Eugene, an intense wildfire threatened a nuclear power plant and is now a threat to a natural gas facility. There isn't any recorded cause of the fire, but it is known that it grew through dry and windy areas. Even though many homes were destroyed, thankfully no injuries were reported. Now let's head to Scott and Sonia for Weird But True. Thank you, Valencia. Good morning, Patriots. Here's this week's Weird But True fact. Human babies are small, but do you know how small baby pandas can be? The average weight of a baby panda is around 100 grams or 0.2 pounds. This is 1 900th of their birth mothers. That's basically the size of domestic kittens, and means that it would take 900 baby pandas to equal their mom's size. The lightest recorded was 36 grams or 0.1 pounds. They truly are an adorable sight to see. That's it for this week's Weird But True Fact. Now let's see whose birthdays are today. That was one weird fact. Today's birthday boys and girls are Haley Banks and Zayn Ali. 
Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Valencia. Thanks, Destiny. Patriots, here Pat's Expectations represents. Present yourself positively. Act kindly towards others. Treat the schools of Vitemir respectfully and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners, congrats to Ms. Shadid, Ms. Ayam Dengkwa, Ms. Stone, and Ms. Manon. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, what is the smallest breed of a dog? The correct answer is a chihuahua. Teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. What does space sound like? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!